Tendai Biti, a senior official in the Opposition Citizens Coalition for Change, he has responded to allegations of colluding with the Zanopiev regime and Sengezu Shavangu to recall Triple C officials from parliament and local authorities. The former finance minister expressed shock and sadness at false labels and records of elected representatives. Biti emphasized his commitment to the struggle for democracy and stated that he would never be part of quickening it. BT affirmed his dedication to democratic values and transparency. His statement reads, Zimbabwe is at crossroads. The weight of a stolen election, unprecedented corruption, and the looting of public assets sits heavy on the shoulders of Zimbabweans who want and deserve better. The environment in the world right now is toxic. The wars in Ukraine and the Middle East have pushed Zimbabwe to the bottom of the world's attention calendar. This has allowed the vampire state here to carry out present election fraud. Not satisfied, the regime is now engaged in a malicious push to weaken our struggle, the progressive movement, through the illegal recall of elected public representatives. It is therefore shocking to hear, read a daily stream of abuse, malicious and defamatory claims that Professor Oshman Nube and I are colluding with the regime and its proxies to append a struggle that have occupied and consumed all our adult lives. I do not speak for Professor Nguwe, an honest and decent comrade who buried his dear mother on Friday, but as someone who has been in the struggle for as long as I have, one who has endured Zanupiev's jails and physical attacks by the same, it is heartbreaking, if not tragic, that many comrades that have been with us on this journey are now given false labels and badges. Zanupiev wish they had coined first. I don't believe in recourse. I've never been part of recourse. I will never be part of recourse. In my life, I've been recorded twice in 2015 and in 2021 through the pernicious use of Section 129 of the Constitution of Zimbabwe. I know the pain of a recall. My family knows the pain of a recall. The people of Harare East know the pain of a recall. With other MPs such as Temba Moliswa, we unsuccessfully fought the removal and repeal of Section 129. Like most Zimbabweans, I only get to read about the patently illegal records by Mr. Chavangu in the newspapers. Given what I and my family have given to this struggle, it saddens me that I have to state publicly that I will never be part of a project to weaken the democratic spargo in Zimbabwe. I have been imprisoned and tortured for the change we all seek and I have stood firm. I've never worked for ZANU-PF and I will never and I will die before I lend my hand to the illegitimate ZANU-PF regime. I had hoped to be a member of parliament. I have my reservations about the process that prevented this happening. I have my challenges and reservations about our identity, structural, strategic and procedural polity. I am a democrat who believes in constitutionalism and the rule of law, transparency openness and collective leadership. I can never compromise on these core values. However, no dispute, no differences is ever sufficient to place one at the service of ZANU-PF. I have a daily job at my law practice and that's why I have retreated to fight for Zimbabweans in that sphere of my influence. Additionally, I have progressive international engagements that require my full attention. Fellow Zimbabweans, all this charter and actions by the Elishmet regime and its proxies are an engineered destruction from the main price to free ourselves from this rapacious dictatorship. It has been a long and treacherous road and victory is closer than the distance back to where we started. This read the statement by Tendai Biti.